from tryouts to night outs, we got the scoop. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, hello, Centuriones. It feels good to be back on another scoop for ya. It's your girl, Amanda. And your girl, Andrea, tuning in on January 29th, 2019. And you know what that means. Another I'm scoop going up on a Tuesday. Got, got your singers in the only five. <laughs> Wait, Andre. Do you mean to tell me we only have 75 days left of school? I mean, if you could understand, believe it or not, Amanda, it's true. Aren't you excited? Well, if you want to throw up, burp, and fart at the same time, is that excitement? <laughs> what? What? Uh, I don't think that's normal. You should, you should go see a doctor, man. <laughs> uh, just to tell me that I'm excited, what a hassle. I highly suggest you keep your bodily fluids to yourself, but you know, there are so many other things that you should be excited for. Really? Like what? Well, Sadie's is coming up, and guess what? What? It's on a yacht! It's a, what? It's on a yacht? Yeah! Uh, okay, well, okay, stop messing around. Give me the details. Okay. It is on February 22nd on the Legacy in Newport Harbor. And the best part is that it is $40 without, without an ASB card and $20 with an ASB card. But better hurry now to purchase yours because space is limited to only 132 people. You know, if I were someone without an ASB card and planning to go to prom and other school activities, I would buy an ASB card right now, purchase a Sadie's ticket, Use the ASB card to get discounts on prom and other school activities, mm -hmm. all for the same price what? of Sadie's. But that's just me though. I better hurry to buy one. You should hurry also to find a man. Hey, why do girls even have to ask out guys for Sadie's anyways? Well, I'm glad you asked, Amanda. Sadie's is actually Sadie Hawkins Day. It is a fictional holiday created by a comic script. In the comic, a 35-year-old woman named Sadie was unable to get married because she was unattractive. So what her father did was gathered all the eligible bachelors in town to have a race where Sadie would chase after them. Ooh. And the one who got caught was the one who had to marry Sadie. Ooh. Now, of course, this event was very popular with the women and was brought into the real world. But the main message of Sadie's is that women do not need to wait for men. We women don't. can take the initiative themselves. Yeah, we can. So look at boys and start running. Well said, Andre. But attention centurions, wasn't this school year just one of the best years yet? Then why not buy your book? The yearbook class has been working so hard to put together all of your favorite memories together in a book, and you won't forget. And get this, it's only $85. But you better hurry to purchase yours soon because the prices will go up in May. High school is all about making memories from your first kiss to your last exam. There will be a memory you will take with you for the rest of your life. That is why the Inside Scoop is always here with you with the recaps. Last Friday we had our Disney assembly and boy was it magical. Showing you that dreams really do come true. Let's roll the clip. Good morning, Centurions. I'm here at our Winter Sports Assembly. Let's see what our Centurions have ready for us.
Wow, they really do. But that was not all the memorable memories that went down this past week. On Saturday, our lovely cheer squad, Polynesian team, dance team, academics, and clubs participated in the school choice fair located at Main Place Mall. This event was attended by elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, and even colleges. It was a full house at Main Place Mall, despite of all the people. Our centurions really did stand out above the rest. But don't take my word for it. See for yourself. Let's roll the clip. Good morning, Centurions. Today we're here at Main Place Mall. We're going to be looking around the school choice fair. We're going to go see around different schools here in Santa Ana. Let's go to the I'm here with Dr. Cybers. Dr. Cybers. Uh, what school are you guys representing today? We're, re we're representing Edison Elementary School. How are you guys representing Edison? Well, we're representing Edison with all of our special programs um, at our school site, such as um, making sure that the students have opportunities with STEM, science, technology, and mathematics. All right, thank you very much. Mr. Nuspickle, with the STEM uh, Central Robotics Program. Uh, Mr. Nuspickle, how are you representing Century? Well, right now, what we're doing is showing off our CTE uh, pathway and our race team and saying this is available to all the students wanting to go to a Santa Ana High School at Century. Oh, um, Centurions, uh, well, after a long day out here at the School Choice Fair, me and my friend Lamar are going to go into round one and play some games. Uh, let's take it back to the studio with the anchors. Those future Centurions are certainly coming to our school. And as you guys saw, our Polynesian team did fantastic. Hey, Centurions, if you are interested in joining, be sure to come out tomorrow. We meet at the Strap after school, so bring your water bottles and spandex because you will sweat. Ooh. Now moving on to sports. Centurions, are you ready to feast? Because I hope you are, because Thanksgiving is coming early this year as the boys soccer team will be playing on our home turf against Valley High School at 4.45 to 6.45 p.m. The girls soccer team will also be competing at Valley High School against those turkeys at 5 to 7 p.m. Wish these studs good luck at their games tonight and come out to support. The boys soccer team battled hard on the field last Friday against Anaheim, but if you missed out on the Friday lights, you know, our girl Jocelyn's got you covered with the report. Let's roll the clip. You're in. Any people? Hi, I'm here with Danny. And um, Danny, what do you think you need to work on for your next ga next game against Valley? Um. Well, first of all, we need to work on our finishing. That's been costing us some of our games, and then our most important is our mentality. We've been slacking off on our mentality, and I think those mental mistakes has, have also been costing us our games. And there's nothing we can do about it now, but just hope for the best, and let's see if we can make CIF. That's it for today, Centurions. Now back to the studio. Boys, still hungry, Centurions? 
Good thing we have even more games tonight. The boys basketball team will also be competing against Valley High School on home court at 7 to 9 p.m. The girls varsity team will also be going against the turkeys at Valley High School at 7 to 9 p.m. Bring your barbecue sauce and your game phase because it's about to go down for our rivals. Gobble gobble. <laughs> Since the winter season is coming to an end, spring sports is coming up and looking for student athletes like you. If you have arms and legs, then you're perfect for softball. Tryouts are going on today and tomorrow, so bring out your athletic gear and water right after school to the softball field and try out. Got questions? Find Coach Marzili and ask away. That's all we have for you today, but remember, Centurions, make sure you... Instagram us! If you want to be a part of the Instagram segment, use the This Is Century hashtag on your showcase worthy pictures of Century Pride. If you're interested in being a part of the live broadcast, pay attention. 9th, 10th, and 11th graders, you will soon be registering for your classes next year. How exciting! And what better way to get involved and have fun by joining the Inside Scoop? Make sure that your counselors place you in the first pair of TV broadcast class for the inside scoop. If live broadcasts are not your thing, do not worry. We'll still got you covered. Join our third period video production class who goes beyond the scoop to investigate school topic and uncover hidden truths. They create their own podcasts which are similar to the inside scoop broadcast, but they are pre-recorded and not produced live. If interested, please make sure to let your counselors know. So, that's all we have for you today. But remember, this is us, and this is Sentry. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Bye.